Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to today's issue of uh, At Burner Brother Antiques. I'm here in our wrapping area and I've just been putting boxes together. And I thought, well, I might as well talk to you for just a minute um, about what we got going on. So yeah, uh, it's, been, it's been a really exciting adventure here at the Heart of Ohio Antique Center, especially with all the whatnot sales. So you see in right there, in the background, all of these items right here need to be shipped. So. I came in early today, uh, got here about 8 o'clock, and I've been making boxes, getting boxes ready to go uh, so that we can get them shipped. Uh, Robbie's going to be here in a minute. Janet may or may not come today, but we're going to try and get all the stuff packed up, shipped up, and we got uh, a guy coming from Kentucky to pick up today. Uh, I don't know. It's going to be an interesting day. I'm going to try and do a, a shorter day for me and take my wife out tonight. So we will see what's going to happen and uh, go from here. Welcome to today's issue of At Burner Brothers. So the crew is here, they're all in. We're just opening up the doors. It's just after 9.30. Pat's headed to the building. We got cashiers up here putting stuff out. Uh, this last building's not quite open yet, but we're really close. Just at 9.30 right now, and we're getting ready to get it all opened up. Part of Ohio Antique Center is ready to go today. Everybody's getting their work done. Well, we've sold a couple pieces this morning already. Let's uh, give you a couple, couple quick uh, rundown here. Look at that cool oil on canvas, uh, Victorian era. It, uh, it's been relined and restored, just sold. And then this table right here just sold. This one was priced at 2,800 and there was an offer made on it. I'm not sure the exact details, but uh, it did sell. So the French table is now gone, sold here at the Antique Center. All right, so we're back down to the warehouse. Uh, we, we gotta keep working on getting this thing empty. So what we're going to do is Josh and I are down here. I'm going to pull 30 lots and do a pop-up whatnot sale here in about an hour. So I just started looking. Uh, I found a couple really cool things here so far. Let me show you what I got. This is a cool enamel on copper uh, pieces here. This one's glass. That's glass. This is enamel on copper, enamel on copper. And then check out the miniature lamp. Piece of Fenton. A coin spot, I think is what that's called. And then the little oil lamp. So that's the beginning of what I'm going to pull for the whatnot show. Uh, yeah, let me go look around some more, see if I can find something else. Well, there's a whole bunch of salt and pepper shakers in here. I kind of like this guy right here. I wonder if he's got a mate. That's pretty cool. I don't know. There's a few salt and pepper shakers we'll put in there. Josh is sitting here laughing because he said, I bet Janet can pack that. <laughs> look how delicate that thing that is. One. Wow, Josh is pushing the limits on that one. An interesting little box here. This is kind of composition material. It's made to look like an early one, but it's pretty cool. Josh and I had to go down to the warehouse for a few minutes and then uh, we got called up here to the mall. So we got a walk in or something. We're not sure what we got. We're going to check it out real quick. Here's a dry sink just sold. Al's taking it up right now. I'm not sure the price. Let's find out the price on that. It just sold for $175. Al's going to load that up here in a second. Okay, so we have a group right here that just sold. Let's take a look at it. We got three pieces that's, that's being wrote up for 190. I think that's the yellow bottle, um, the gold with the gold decor. Well, it's just the one piece. Okay, so the one piece sold for 190. That's cool. That got sold. Uh, and then this piece is really fun. That's kind of a porcelain. No, it's glass, and that's all like a Moriyagi decoration over top of glass. That's crazy colors. Forty nine dollars on that piece. That one's fun. I like this little piece of art glass here too. That one's thirty dollars. And then all the fun little little pieces. Uh, see the price on this guy here is twenty dollars. This guy here, nine dollars. The milk glass piece with the birds, twenty-five dollars. An interesting group. Also, a pair of uh, bookends here, lion bookends. Uh, it says stoneware. Lucy and Stoneware, $275 on the pair of those, sold. The Deco figurine just sold for $95. The compote right behind it is Cambridge, it sold for $75. This looks like a piece of Dom here. Uh, this sold for $95. Pretty sure that's Dom. Uh, this one here, the little puppy dog, sold for $14. And then the green ceramic guy sold for $15. Mr. President, priced at $495, had an offer come in of $445, and it looks like, uh, you no, know, it looks like they may get it for $445. It's up here in the sold bins. We'll see if it goes out, uh, $445. So here's a Staffordshire uh, dog pair right here. These are priced at 
$25 for the pair. That's a bargain. All right, scouts, joining us for lunch. Out of nowhere, scout came and sat down. Now that car on film. So what, what's what been going on today, scout? Um, nothing much. I just got off, so I decided to eat lunch with Dad. Oh, no, that's cool. Up, so. That's cool. What'd you get for lunch? I had a grilled cheese and potato salad. And World famous grilled cheese, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> World. And I also had chips. World famous grilled cheese. That's perfect. That's epic grilled cheese, man. Everybody loves them. Mm -hmm. How was the cafe? Was it busy today? It was busy today. It still is busy. <laughs> yeah. What would you sell the most of? Grilled chicken. Grilled chicken sandwiches. Really? It's been the most that we've sold today. Really? That's yeah. interesting. What about the special? Did it do okay? Is it ranked up there? It's it's ranked up there. It's doing pretty what, good. What is the special today? The mushroom Swiss burger. Mushroom Swiss burger. Okay. What's yeah. your favorite special when you work? I don't know. I'm partial to the ham and cheese. I normally always get the ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. Do like, yeah. you get on like a bread, good. hot bread, hot toast, or what do you do? Hot ham yeah, and cheese. Yeah, the hot ham and oh. cheese on the bun. And then I always get it with potato salad. Nice. Nice. Scout knows. Yep. <laughs> we'll that's, that's a good sandwich. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> sandwich right there. <laughs> that's funny. All right. Well. Hey, we figured something out. What would we get figured out? Our big event is on the same night as prom. Yep. Oh, here April 20th. Center. So yeah. I told her, I said, she, she has to come out here for pictures. Yeah. So I can see her. So April 20th, come see Scout dressed up in the in a formal <laughs> gown. What, what you got yep. picked out? Your dress already? I do have my dress picked out. What's it going to be? It's a surprise. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got to come to see. You got to come to see. <laughs> All right. I love it. I love it. You got a date picked out yet? I do. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's important. <laughs> that's, that's, come, that's secondary to the de dress. Secondary though. to yeah. the dress. Yeah. <laughs> dress is more important. Oh, yeah. That's so fun. All right. Well, thanks for talking to us, Scout. And right, back over here to the salt bench. Big iron piece here. That's like off of a house. What does it say here? Cast iron stove grate. $39. In the salt bins. There's a green and white kettle. Sold 20 bucks. And that looks like a piece of RS Prussia here. Uh, yep, yeah, RS Prussia signed $48 on the bowl. There's a Kappa Damani bowl priced at $70 and it's sold. It's a fun cast iron doorstop sold for $69 and it's got nice paint. Every day Fiesta sells here. Here's a $22 piece here. Uh, an egg plate is $29. Okay. And there's an $18 charger back here. Okay. Here in bin number S22, the whole bunch more stuff. Here again, Fiesta, $14.91 on that one. Same price on that. Another green one in the back, same price. All sold. We just sold this painting right here. I love the dog. How much did you, How much did it go for? $1,600. $1,600 was the sale price. And it's going home. It found a new home today. Absolute stunning. Uh, what was that, Victorian, I'm guessing? This is actually uh, Georgian or Regency. And it's, going back, it's going to France. Going back to France. Nice. That is so cool. Absolutely stunning. I love the puppy down here. I do too. The dog is what it's makes the painting. It's a King Charles painting. painting. King, wow. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Thank you for letting me sh uh, film that one real quick. I appreciate it. Okay, this is really cool. Looks like Dresden. Uh, wonderful work in it. And look at the top. We'll so Dresden, what's it say? Mm. Well, it says mice in it. If that's mice in, that's an incredible buy. $175. Uh, go up in here with it once. Let me see the mark. <laughs> yeah. This, oh, yep. It's got a mice in mark on the bottom. That's cool. Both pieces are the, both is signed underneath the top bowl and the bottom bowl. So that is an absolute bargain for $175. Let's turn it this way. Is it far enough in the front? Just up here and we're just looking at our entryway cases and we're like, man, there's some really cool stuff in here. I love some of the items. They took out that mid-century box right there. That's a great color, orange splatter on it. The owls are fun. And then this guy right here, that's probably Danish, I'm assuming. It's got a $325 price tag, but that is something else. Maybe it's German, but the color is off the charts on that. Great style, great design. And then right here is this epic uh, Prisoner of War piece that is on display only now that Janet bought uh, through one of our whatnot sales out of nowhere. She, and she actually gave like $500 or $600 range for that piece uh, when she bought it. And then she said, I want to put it out the heart and put it on display. If you haven't seen this yet, this is a cigarette case. It was uh, from World War II and it was traded um, from a gentleman, dated 1944, and it had this cool letter on the inside. It was just an amazing piece sitting right here at the entryway. Uh, but yeah, there's just a lot of fun pieces when you first come in the mall in the first couple of showcases. 
the cast iron cast iron uh, fire truck fire pump yeah, yeah. So cast iron good. fire pump is really cool mm -hmm. and right beside it a turtle crystal I like that one are those fun. scales Jacob the box the box in the back is scales yep that's a set of scales uh, there's some rookwood Head giraffes base. rookwood giraffes are pretty cool here's a head vase and then check out the Bakelite, polka dot Bakelite bangle bracelet out of this world. And then up here is a Dalton uh, with the polar bears on it. I've, that's, I've never had that one before. That's such a cool piece. Three it's piece funny, set actually. And sometimes you come right in and, and don't miss even look. The first four showcases. <laughs> and, you know, this side over here is interesting because Robbie sets these up for us, the displays. He's the one that's in charge of all this. That's crazy stand there. Yeah, that's cool. Double sided. Double sided cast iron frog stand. Um, I love the poodle. I like that Murano glass. I mean, we should buy that, Josh. That's Murano glass bird. Um, $45. $45. And what does it say on the Murano style bird? Okay, style. Made in Venezuela, it says. That's interesting, but $45. Crazy price. The, the Stife monkey for $100, that's a bargain. There's Nicodemus in here. I love this glazed elephant right here. That is such a cool piece. The big early Mickey Mouse in the back. Then you got the World's Fair grouping over here. And then fun to the left is we've got a little sampling of Building 7 stuff in here. There's, there's some ball cards in here. There's Star Wars stuff, uh, autographs. There's a Joe Burrow uh, card in here. Check that one out. Two of them in there, all graded. These are a rare set of books, North American Indians, volume one and two. Uh, extremely rare book set right here. Look at those glasses, those vintage glasses. That reminds me of pictures from the 50s. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. That's fun. You're right. This is all just right here. The first, you don't even get inside the antique center yet. Look at the marble. It's a massive marble down there. Black and yellow. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's cool. were carved out of horn. Horn, yeah. yeah. Horn carvings. There's some silver dishes laying in there. There's pewter. There's a duck on the bottom. There's a great cameo vase down there. I mean, check out that cameo vase. Uh, and then here's a sculpture. Uh, this is by David Hotzletter. Uh, he sells in the, the thousands, and this one's priced at 2,600, but I know his, uh, his stuff sells for like multiple, multiple thousands. Wow. Crazy, Josh. What do you think? That's just right here in the it's first entry. four showcases. That's the entry. <laughs> That's the entryway. Come again. And then when you come on in the Antique Center, man, it's just been a uh, been crazy amount of volume in here. Lots of folks moving around, buying stuff. We got stuff going every direction. The bear right now. Somebody's looking at the bear. It's always fun. People come get their pictures always over here at the bear. It's always fun to watch. Meredith, what do you got? What sold? glass faces oh those are cool look at the faces how much are they uh, let's see the prices prices at 28 dollars each those are pretty hold one up in the air force and cool. get color faces aren't they? yeah look at the color on that glass faces for 28 dollars you can wear that like a mask <laughs> well, put it, let's see well, let's see what the mask no you don't want to do that huh <laughs> i'll keep going with a couple more cases just right here in our entryway there's some just spectacular items um I mean, just, just take a look at the rarities. This is just right here in the foyer. I mean, before we even start going down into the main showcases, just crazy amount of quality everywhere. I love the Zips tray right here with the bird. That's fun. The Crush, double double dispenser. Uh, great paperweights, great mid-century showcase right beside it. Look at the Fenton heart box. That's a Rosaline heart box for 120. That's a neat piece there. And then the early stuff, snuff box collection, all sorts of rarities. I love this right here. This is a pewter ice cream. I'm pretty sure that's for ice cream. Uh, maybe, no, maybe not. It says salt on that one. This one's for ice cream. This one is for salt, but that's a master salt with a swan on it. That's pretty cool in pewter. Next case over, same thing. Lots of rarities. A lot of early pewter up here on this one. If you like some early stuff, right here's a cool case to come and look at. Some gaudy wear. And again, we're just let me back up here again. We are just right here in the first row of showcases. Now, we have um, over 500, I think. I forget the number now. It's a large amount of showcases. It's around 500 showcases. 
So that was just the first six or so. And you can see everywhere up here in the commons, there's stuff for sale. There's great showcases full of wonderful pieces. The iColt collection that's been selling out of this case. They come in and put more of their collection in here constantly. Uh, just right and left, constantly selling back and forth. Absolutely amazing. And there's a whole row of showcases. Both sides. And that's one of three buildings of showcases. So let's take a peek in the first one here, see what we got. I mean, just check it out. Advertising items off the charts. Wow. Talk about a great collection of advertising. So Josh, Josh is up here selling stuff. What'd you sell, Josh? Sold the candelabras here. The white candelabras are sold. There we go. Yeah, That's a cool. Pair of them for 165. 165 on the pair. And those are white wrought iron. That's pretty special. Cool. Pretty cool. Well, yeah, we're here in Springfield, Ohio. If you've, if you've never seen us before, uh, Burner Brother Antiques. We're here at the heart of Ohio Antique Center. Uh, this is America's biggest and best antique center, 122,000 square feet. Before the additional uh, sales space we just created, we put four new buildings up. We got a new commons area on the outside. So it's gonna be crazy around here. Uh, come see us, come check us out. We'd love to have you. And we got Josh uh, right here going bye-bye. He's done for the day, I guess. <laughs> I'm out anyways. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching guys. Uh, please like and subscribe to our channel if you have if you if you can uh, Throw a like on there a little little uh, yeah, Guy behind me, that's funny. He's looking uh, throw, throw a like on there on our comments throw some comments in I like to read them every day um, And we're trying to grow our channel so the more likes and comments we get we get the uh, better it'll grow uh, According to the YouTube wizards anyways, uh, so thanks again blessings to y'all and have a good day